What's going on YouTube? Josh here checking in with an upper body training session that I did about a week ago. If you're new to the channel, uh, the way I set up my training is basically an upper lower split. I train four days a week, two upper, two lower, and right now I'm in a volume phase. As I get closer to my meet at the end of May, I'll be upping the intensity and dropping the volume a bit. So this is 210. I started off with sets of five and then I moved over to sets of four as I started getting more fatigued. So um, basically between my sets, I like to do some mobility work just because, you know, sitting around waiting for two or three minutes or however long you rest between sets, if you're not doing anything, you might as well be doing something productive. So this is just a really nice stretch for your hip flexors. It's really not that difficult to do. Uh, you want to make sure you're maintaining a neutral spine and you want to try and use the contract and relax principle which basically would involve you contracting your glute which basically helps you get a better stretch of the hip flexor. You want to contract for about five seconds and relax and then repeat. So on to some more benching. This is one of my later sets so I was a little bit fatigued. One thing I did notice is as you get to the last few reps of the set I was doing a very poor job of keeping my elbows tucked so on that last one the elbows played out early and on this one it's really bad to the point where it's almost like my wrist is not quite under the elbow anymore, so that's something I'm going to be keeping an eye out on in the future. This is some close grip, and it's a very lightweight. This is 165. This was my top set of close grip. So I am very bad at close grip bench press for some reason. I don't think my triceps are terribly weak. My weighted dip is actually pretty good. I can do uh, my body weight plus 135 for sets of five. But for some reason, my close grip is just really bad. So, you know, work on your weaknesses and hopefully I'll make some improvements going forward. So over here, I'm going to do some close grip with 65 pounds. Decided to drop it 100 pounds, you know, feeling a little fatigued. Uh, I'm just messing with you guys. So this is actually the JM press. If you're not familiar with this, it's kind of like a cross between a skull crusher and a close grip. And right now, I'm just uh, getting used to doing the movement and I'm starting with low weight because I don't know if you can really tell from the video but basically the bar ends up kind of over your neck so you don't really want to be using a weight that you might fail. Uh, I'll be doing a video in the future about the setup for this exercise but anyway it's an excellent uh, tricep accessory. So uh, just some overhead pressing, follow that up. This was 130. I only got a set of four on, on this one. This is one of my last sets. The plan was to do sets of five and 130 for that much is pretty shitty for a guy my size, but my triceps were pretty shot, and as you can see, it's mostly the lockup that I was struggling with. So I followed that up with some um, dumbbell rows. I normally do barbell um, bent over rows, but that's only because I normally train at a CrossFit gym that doesn't have any dumbbells, so I figured I would do some dumbbell rows since I haven't done this in a while just to hit my lats a little bit. And then I finish off the workout with some pull-ups. Um, as you can see from here, I like to go pretty high, bringing almost my chest to the bar. And I tend to do sets of four or five, that way I don't get very fatigued, and that way I'm able to do an overall much greater amount of volume. So that's the video guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Please be sure to give it a like if you liked the video, and I'll catch you guys next time.